Right now we have a problem in the financial services industry. Executive committees are only 16% female, boards are only 20% female, and we know that the population is half women, and we need more women voices at the table. And the downstream effect of not having women voices at the table right now is that girls and women are opting out, and we want to change that. The story of how Invest in Girls got founded was, was really a story about the power of women coming together to really um, make a difference. When I was in college, I went to MIT. There was one class I took where I was the only woman out of like 100 people. It was the finance class. I would say a lot of the women I've spoken with, they're used to being the only woman in the room at any point in time. I do know that fewer women opt in at the beginning. For whatever reason, they decide that financial services isn't the right field for them. And that's where we're really starting to trying to do our work, is to start early and to say, you know, as young as 15 years old, these are concepts that are important and this is work that's interesting. And so what we're really trying to do is create an environment where they feel comfortable getting their toes wet and learning and seeing if it is the right place for them. Who here has gotten $20 on Monday and then by Thursday have no idea what they did with it? It was like a magic trick. You got it in your hand and then poof. So our workshops are really the core foundation of how we start our work with the girls. We work in independent schools, in public schools, in charter schools. We work with community centers and different programs where we're able to implement as an after-school program. So we're able to meet girls in a variety of different ways. This is where we provide the baseline knowledge that they need to really understand the concepts that the role models might talk with them about and what they see when they go on an industry trip. So these really get at the heart of what does it mean to balance a budget? What is money? You know, sort of how do you relate to it? How do you understand it? Why is it important to understand the stock market? And we really take those concepts and we use those as a foundation for the rest of the work that we do. And I'm gonna ask you a series of questions and then we're gonna figure out what your money personality is. I want every girl to leave the workshop smarter than she was when she came in. What's the social security number? What, what does that number mean? It's your identity, like who you are, right? I like to make the workshops fun and relatable. So even, for example, you've never held a credit card in your entire life, I want you to be able to think of an example that means something to you. I walked out and had groups of kids in the corner arguing about bonds. And that's not a conversation I feel that would have happened in any other class. And sometimes you don't even know what you want to know because it's never been introduced to you ever. So having someone come in and explain to you the world of finance and how money works is really important for people to know so that they're not just spending their money however they want. And I have to say that regardless of socioeconomic status, regardless of race, regardless of region, the demand is there. Well, great. Thank you for coming and I'm really happy you're here. We do have a one-on-one -on -one mentoring relationship and that's a school year's length uh, relationship between one of our girls and one of our women volunteers. Our role model program is really about connecting women who are in the industry with girls who are interested in the industry and giving them a sense and an understanding of what the work could be like to pique their interest and get them to continue to pursue the field as an area of study. I think this is unique in that they are high school age girls. They get the ability to interact with all of the you know, people here on every level and really get a sense of what is finance, what is it about at a very, very early age. So we do an industry trip. We bring the girls out of the school or program that we're working with them in and we actually bring them usually to a financial services firm, though sometimes to the finance department of a corporation. And the idea here is to really demystify what goes on in these tall office buildings. Bring them in, let them see the space, let them see the view, let them hear from the people who work there and understand how what they've been learning in the classroom applies to what goes on day to day in the firms that they're in. And that's really the bulk of it, is just taking the mystique away. Before I wanted to major in political science, after encountering Investor Girls, I changed my path. I want to do business and finance. But really being able to give girls the baseline where they can have that confidence and stability, I think is, is really rewarding. And it's fun to watch, it's fun to watch them get a concept that they never thought they would be interested in. It's fun to see them interacting with each other um, and talking about important things that maybe no one's ever talked to them about. I think it's important because I think it's going to change the landscape of the next generation of women in finance. You know, this is the beginning of the pipeline, but 
if you think about it, you know, these girls are in high school, in five years they'll be out of college, <laughs> you know, it's like really quick before they're ready to work in the workplace. And so it, the impact could happen much quicker than we expect. So I think a lot about with Invest in Girls, we have a goal of bringing trust and knowledge together um, so that we can help girls start to make thoughtful and wise decisions at a young age that can have a huge impact on their lives longer term. We put so much work into making sure the program has real impact. And now we're gonna focus on how do we take that impact and scale it and have it reach all girls.